real quick is foundups and how they level up into startups. See, a startup is just this big blah, what the heck is it? You don't know, you know? Whereas a foundup has specific levels. There's actually seven levels. And you know, I play D&D. And the idea of leveling up, you know, and when you hit level seven, you're actually, you know, you can take on a hill giant. So level seven is nothing to laugh at. So think of the idea as zero, okay? The moment you, you get advisors that say, hey, I'll be an advisor, I'll help you with this, and it's simple. If you go to like um, LinkedIn and, and go to FoundUps, just type in FoundUps under people, you'll see a heck of a lot of advisors that we have as part of FoundUps. The second level, level two, is actually team members. People say, hey, I will be active and I want to help you. You know, uh, you know, get found ups going or get a found up going. See, so understand, found up corp is a found up, and I'm telling you, we're at level five, which is kind of exciting. We're actually about to start level five. We just we just completed level four. So, um, the next level is actually the prototype, level three. You actually have your team together, and now you're going to code the damn thing. You're going to get it together or build it. That's level three, and. An interesting tap happens with level three, you basically start your first micro seed investor round, okay? So the micro seed round is where a found up seeks to raise $50,000. And I'll talk about that in OIF, why you need the 50,000. But in essence, it's there to help you get to the other 800,000 or, or close to a million. Level, five, level four is actually when you complete your prototype, and you have it launched as an alpha. Now understand, foundups have alphas, betas are startup terminology. So you will never see a beta and a foundup. They're actually alphas. So level five is actually when you start your seed round. Now you have something to show. You've got some, tr you've got some additional traction. You can leverage the fact that you've already raised $50,000. You can leverage the fact that, hey, look at what we're doing and everything else and, you know, get things going. So it's, it's, you know, it's part of the process. Level six is when you complete your seed round and you've raised your 500 to 800,000. And I'll talk about what you use that money for in OIF. Um, the final level, level seven, and this is the level that launches you as a startup, is the private placement. The private placement is where institutions come in and actually buy significant share. A private placement is where pretty much the VCs come in and participate. Now you may be saying, wait, 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 that's part of a startup. No, we don't define it as part of a startup. See, the cool thing is a found up is my space and I can define it any way I want since I own it and I have the trademark for it. So for us, we define the moment you become a startup is that private placement. Now, there's a couple things. What we're going to do with startups, I mean with found ups that are very different than startups. Number one is this, is that within two to five years of the private placement of a found up, we will do an IPO. Okay, I'll say that again. Within every found up that we launch within two to five years, and I probably want to get that down to three, two to three years, okay? Five years to me is too long nowadays. But you know, I'm gonna say two to five just to give it some wiggle room. Found ups Corp is gonna do its IPO in two years when we launch for our private placement. The key is from the private placement, not from the moment we find it. The private placement defines us as a startup. That's the moment we roll out away from FoundUps Corp. Now we become like a, a subsidiary corp and so on, but ultimately everything rolls out from us at the private placement. Um, that's it, enjoy.